this is the Roland HP 704, and it, as with all of the other Roland instruments, is an amazing instrument. It, first of all, it has the PH50 keyboard right here, and if you take a closer look at this instrument, it encapsulates all of the features that an acoustic action would have on it. The action are, is all the keys and the working mechanisms that enable you to strike the string with the hammer. And if you notice, when I press on the key, the hammer comes up just like an acoustic piano. And here's the fulcrum point. So this works conceptually the same as an acoustic piano. It has double escapement on it, which allows for more power, which if I push it just barely, and then push a little bit more, it allows for more power. And what that means for a pianist is more expression, more dynamics. I can go from very soft to very loud very quickly. And it reacts to me as an acoustic piano would. And I want you to hear the acoustic piano. This is a concert piano. That's a beautiful concert uh, grand piano. Now, it has other pianos, voices on it. And if you look right over here, I have a ballad piano. I have a mellow piano. Bright piano. And then I have an array of other voices over here with, on this particular one where it says other, it opens up a whole window of opportunity for other sounds. And one of those being a pipe organ. Now, the one thing I love about this particular instrument is that it also utilizes the piano designer. So the piano designer is a function that allows me to create the kind of piano that I want. When I sit down to an acoustic piano, basically I'm getting the sound of that particular piano. I can lower the lid and that'll dampen the sound. I can raise the lid up to a couple of different levels and that'll open the sound up, if you will. But other than a technician coming in and working on the instrument and do what's called tone regulating, I really am pretty much uh, slaved to that particular instrument. But with this instrument, I can create my own. So if I wanna have a heavier touch for a particular piece, if I press Piano Designer, Key Touch will come up. And if I go to the sliding bar right here, I can go from light, oops, let's go back to piano, sorry. Now let's go there. And I can make it heavier. Oops. Now, one of the things I also love about this particular function on the key touch is, is that when you make a heavier touch on your instrument, the sound in your mind on an acoustic piano will interpret it as being somewhat mellow. And if I play down, if I play on an acoustic piano that has a light touch, the sound in my brain will be interpreted as being very bright and they encapsulate that on this particular instrument. So that's why you notice a difference in sound between heavy versus light. And I can actually feel a difference in the keyboard, so it is amazing. Now let's go to, let's go to ambiance. If I want a nice, uh, rich ambiance, is very plain. Okay, so I can set the ambience level 
to anywhere in that spectrum there that I want to. Uh, the other thing that it has too, it has 3D ambiance with the headphones. So when I plug in headphones right underneath this section right in here, the sound with the 3D ambiance will come on and I can hear and feel as if I'm playing in a concert hall, if that's what the setting I choose to be on. So that's an amazing feature as well. I can change the brilliance of the note. I can change the tuning. I can change the hammer response. How fast does that hammer strike the string? I can't do that without going through a lot of laborious uh, action regulation on an, uh, on an acoustic piano, but I can do it here on one tap of the switch right here, okay? Now it's not something, it's not something that you're gonna hear, it's something that you're going to feel. So that is your hammer response. Now to go back and get out of this, there's a little button right here that's blinking that's telling me if you wanna go back, press this. All right, that takes me all the way back to the beginning of the menu, which is the concert piano in this case. This instrument is equipped with a recording system that allows me to record very simply and play back. It is also Bluetooth enabled. And what that allows me to do is to operate this instrument with an iPad or with my cell phone. All I have to do is go into my settings under wireless or Bluetooth and find this instrument, it'll pop up. I click on it and now I'm married to it. What else can we do though with that Bluetooth? And what we can do with it is utilize all the programs that Roland has to offer. One of those being Piano Everyday, the other being that Piano Designer. Or if I simply just wanna operate the instrument with my iPad, I can do that. But if I want to learn how to play and I wanna play interactively, under Piano Everyday, for instance, there are an array of songs that are available to you that I can play along with or I can play interactively with them. Meaning that if I want to play the right hand, I can mute the right hand on Piano Everyday and it'll only play the left hand and I can play along with it so I can learn my uh, that particular song. If I want to record my own songs and upload them into Piano Day and create my own song list, I can do that as well. The other thing you can do with Bluetooth, though, is that if you want to turn this into your own stereo system, if you will, here's an example right here in this person's living room where she is using her Bluetooth speaker system as her stereo system. So she is married to the instrument and all the sound is coming out of her, maybe that's her Apple Music or Pandora, whatever she's using there, it will come out of the system itself. So this is a great instrument, it's an entry-level instrument that Roland offers, and it is called the HP 704.